Hi guys, my name is Michelle. I'm a tutor for Czech Tutors and I usually tutor in English, math, and psychology. And today we're going to be talking about the locus of control. And so first of all, let's talk about what control is. So control can be defined as the power to determine outcomes influencing people and events. Um, and actions. So when we look at it that way, we can kind of see that there's no way to control everything in our lives. So we can control some things, but other times we have to step back and really analyze what we can and can't control. And so the word control becomes even more interesting when we have the word locus before it. So let's define locus. Locus is the position, point, or place, or more specifically, the location where something happens. And so a person's locus of control is the extent to which individuals believe that they can control events that affect them. And these loci can be internal or external. So an internal locus of control might describe people who base their success on their own work and believe that they can control their life, while the external locus of control is a little bit different and it describes people who attribute their success or failure to outside influences. So if you get a promotion and you're someone with an internal locus of control, you'll attribute that positive moment to the work that you put into that promotion. But if you have an external locus of control, you might attribute that promotion to luck, to fate, to good timing, um, so attributing it to external factors rather than yourself. Those with internal loci of control, they tend to take more responsibility for their actions. So if someone was late to get back to work from lunch, they might beat themselves up for it because they'll think, um, oh, I should have eaten lunch at the office or maybe skip lunch altogether. But those with external loci of control, they look at things around them as part of the success or failure. So they might come off as um, the type to not really uh, accept any of the responsibility for, um, for what they cause. And so the development of locus of control is actually associated from the beginning. So like um, when you grow up in a family, you grow up in a certain type of culture and you have certain types of experiences with rewards and punishment and many internal uh, locus of control people grow up with families that model typical internal beliefs. So they emphasize effort, education, responsibility, and thinking, and um, parents typically give their children rewards that they promise them. But in contrast, externals are typically associated with lower socioeconomic status. So um, societies that um, have some social unrest increase the ex expectancy of being out of control and therefore people in such societies might, might be more external. So that's all we're going to cover for today. That is um, what locus of control is. I hope you enjoyed your lesson and have a good day.